Hey everybody, Aston Tuna. Finally, a tuna with quality and traceability. Where have you been my whole life? So we're here with our friends at Zahab who just won the James Beard Award for outstanding restaurant that's in the country. They have this fish menued, so we're gonna see how they prepare it. But first, while we head inside, let's take a look at where it comes from. Samuels brings in Aston traceable yellowfin tuna from Sri Lanka. It's there where Sam Aston, whose family has been doing this for over 200 years, oversees the catching, landing, grading, and processing of this tuna. When you get the box, you'll see the tuna is wrapped in a Bloom Technology wrapper, which keeps the color perfect and the taste fresh. You'll also be able to pull out a certificate with complete traceability information. From Sam Aston to Samuels, how can two Sams go wrong? Okay, let's get to it. I'm here in the kitchen at Zahab in Philadelphia, and I'm joined with a Chef de Cuisine, Andrew Henshaw. Andrew, thanks for joining, man. No problem. Thanks for, uh, thanks for setting this up. Of course, absolutely. We love you guys here. So uh, I'll let you have it. What, what do you do with the Aston tuna here at Zahab? Yeah, so uh, we serve it, uh, since it's like the Sri Lankan Aston tuna, um, we like it because it like, gives us a little bit of a story to tell and something to talk about. Uh, our servers are always looking to speak to the guests and inform our guests. Um, so this dish, we, since it's from Sri Lanka, we went like African with the dish. So we tried to keep it all like kind of Moroccan inspired. We serve it with a uh, vegetarian kofta. Uh, kofta is typically like a beef kebab, but instead of using beef, we use the same spicing as a kofta. And then we use uh, bulgur wheat and red lentils. What we're going to put on the dish right now is just this little bit of salt because that's all the beautiful fish needs. And then our uh, harissa, which is a typical Moroccan condiment. And then that's also going to have some preserved lemon in there as well as a little bit of toasted peanuts. Some sunflower shoots here. And then that's ready to go. Does it help you chefs here that it comes in skin off, bloodline out, trimmed, I mean, all ready to go? Yeah, it definitely makes it a lot easier, especially with the volume that we do here. It's nice to have a product that's already like partially ready for us. Oh, it's awesome. It, what do you, you guys, I don't know how often you have tuna on the menu. What do you guys like about Aston? I mean, I know they pride themselves on color and flavor, anything tuna would yeah, usually. Color is great, flavor is great. Like I said, all we really do to the fish itself is add a little bit of salt. Um, and then it's also really nice for us to be able to tell the story behind the fish and why this dish makes sense for us. Yeah, I think it's got a great story. You can tell them, I mean, sustainability is always big with people now. I mean, um, it's Friend of the Sea certified, which is a very, not too many people have that, especially with tuna. It's such a, this is a real game changer. So I'm glad you and your talented staff here are, are taking advantage of such a cool product. And I'm glad uh, we're such friends here at Zahav and yep. uh, Samuels. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> 